Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to another video of an F1 2021 game expo. Yes, today we're going to be seeing what happens when a V6 versus a V8 versus a V10 versus a V12 engine. We've got five classic engines. We'll get, I'll tell you why there's five, um, in four different uh, configurations as well. But yes, also this is the 500th uh, subscriber special. So once again, a huge, huge thank you for all your support on the channel um, as well and for getting uh, me to 500 subscribers now the next target is 750 so into the video then we'll start with the v8 car uh, engine excuse me from uh, 2006 yes their very first uh, V8 engine, the winning uh, engine won by Fernando Alonso in this second and final world championship, um, as well. So yes, it's that that was this was I've put this a uh, little bit of a swap swap compared to last year because last year I had the V8 engine in the th uh, the third tier of cars. This time and it was requested that it goes in the top tier. Um, so I hold on to that request and I put it into uh, this year's cars. Uh, it's got 20,000 RPM, which is 7,000 more than the current V6 engines. But it is down on power. Um, ERS as well for all of these classic cars is uh, just a, a big no-no. I don't uh, for some reason it doesn't want to work. Um, Yes, this lap. I mean, we're currently the, the, that's the, the ERS is definitely contributing because we're currently three seconds a lap slower. Also, the fact we're as I said, we're down on power. We'll see what the V10 can do um, in a moment. But um, down the back straight, only only managing 185 miles an hour. Uh, I think we can get to 200, but the straight isn't long enough, basically. But um, Yes, as we come up to the line, I'll set a 19.7, I'll see the times after all five, 24.3. Ah oh, yes, it's the V10 engine from last from last week's game experiment, funny enough. Uh, seven, this one only has 18,500 revs, um, but is a lot faster. Um, it's actually... S s According to the actual uh, data, it's supposed to be ever so slightly faster than the engine that's in the um, V6 engine. Although they have, they are getting faster, and it's not by a lot uh, compared to what it has been in recent games uh, for the engine. But um, yes, uh, obviously this was the engine that Michael Schumacher was so dominant with back in 2004. Uh, the height. At the V10 power and what a sound it was. Although I do admit that some of you don't like it, um, as you mentioned in last week's video. But so don't you worry. We will not. We will not be unlike in previous years. We will not be driving the V10 engine in the race um, as well. But it is the fastest engine of the five engines that we have today. Um, only a second down again. ERS doesn't want to respond again. But I mean, also it's only got seven gears. So again, another game experiment will be in the future. Will to be play about with this engine and see if we can get it even more power and to get it even more powerful than the current F1 engine. So moving to the V12 on the Aston Martin, the Alfa Tauri and the uh, Alpine car. Again, this is from 1995. This engine only appeared in one F1 game, and that was F1 2017, as the un understeer through that Term 1. You saw how it was easy for the V8 and the V10, but the V12 was having absolutely none of that. Um, Yes, uh, obviously, 1995. This this engine is relentless. It, 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 it's 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 not a it's not an easy engine to drive with by any means. The and just just to show you that, I mean that 1995 Ferrari car was terrible. Even I, I, about about on no even I would say even worse because I don't I don't than the um, uh, 2020 uh, Ferrari car engine. But anyway, um, 
in the Aston Martin with four and a half seconds slow, only slightly slower than the V8 interestingly in 1995 uh, compared to 2006 but obviously there is a, a little bit of there's a, the acceleration uh, cost um, which which obviously um, but the top speed is of the two the V12 and the V8 are actually uh, similar um, as well so we'll see what we can do it's 25 6 it's the fastest lap in the Aston Martin as well um, fourth engine uh, the Williams and the Alfa Romeo car is the V6 fitted to Ayrton Senna's Hon uh, McLaren Honda from 1988 so uh, we've got a, a variety of spreads only 12 and a half thousand rpm compared to the 20,000 in the v6 um, but um, it's 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 okay it's not it, you'll probably be struggling to get to 200 miles an hour um, we'll it will get there eventually but you can see here through the first sector we're two and a half seconds down bearing in mind also we're in the Williams the Williams is the slowest car you'll notice I've done all four of these engines compared to previous years uh, all four of the cars so far are all powered by Mercedes so we've also got that little bit of comparison um, as well because they've all supposed to have the same engine power so that's why I've done uh, the four and then the fifth one obviously is just a special engine for Haas uh, to try and match the real life uh, but we'll get on to that in just a moment as we come through Ascari we're five and a half seconds up on our previous bets time this only has six gears as well like the uh, the V12 only has six gears but um, a lot more uh, RPM uh, but yes uh, up to the line uh, it's not a bad time but obviously in the Williams it's the slowest car on the grid so there is that little bit of to factor in as well and the final engine comes from 1972 because we all know how Haas have been made faster than Williams and this mod is going to put that balance well the fact that Haas are uh, well but have in real life they've got a performance of a bit of cardboard and um well I'm trying to balance that out by putting an engine that's all 49 years old from 1972 um, so yes I'm not gonna make you watch the lap we're gonna fast forward through the lap I will say this though um, the you might you might notice the rev lights on the bottom right from because I've got a customized display. Um, they, the, the rev lights are all, all in tune to modern day F1 cars and there's no way for me to change that. So that's why you'll see a bit more of it where the RPM is higher than the, than the modern day F1 engine and then obviously less for the Haas because the Haas doesn't, the Cosworth doesn't have that much RPM. It's actually got less RPM. Um, and only five gears as well as we've done an excruciating one year 39.4 for uh, before and four months 25 days um, but yes uh, it, it's going to be interesting we'll see if the McLaren and the Miss the Ferrari can get can get can get ahead obviously uh, we'll see what happens with that Aston Martin looking a little bit slower the engine about a second slower than the V10 as well and the V6 there as well time is on the screen there I also did a qualifying session originally I was going to drive as Sergio Perez in the V8 um, so I did a, a, a quali and so these are the times interestingly Ferrari half four tens back and then also close was close between the uh, Red Bull and the Mercedes cars, and then it's a little bit closer between the Aston Martins. Don't for some reason the Williams are though a second off the Alfa Romeos. But unfortunately, well, the experiment, the energy store seems to be broken on the V8 for some reason, and it just decided to degrade itself into sawdust. So it broke basically, and I had a player retirement. Um, not joking. There it is. 
um, the player retirement and they've got no option but to uh, retire. So that, that that's not the actual race. We won't be racing as Sergio Perez. I know that there'll be some Perez fans that'll be disappointed with that, but and um, that's just a little glitch, unfortunately. So instead, we're going to be driving a Sebastian Vettel. I mean, he loves to drive. He always, he's always wanted to drive a V12, and this is his big moment in his Aston Martin. Um, and we're going to start from ninth. I haven't done qualifying, so the grid's going to be a little bit mixed up compared to all the engines. But five for lights are out, and away we go. And it's a good start compared to Stroll. But you see the power of the Ferraris and the V10 engine. They're trying to almost go on the grass there, uh, one of the Ferraris on the left hand side. We're going to have a huge dive to the inside, almost uh, trying to take out one of the Ferraris. It's Leclerc on the inside, and in the end, they're just going to accelerate us. We're going to. Get ahead though of Lewis Hamilton though. We're going to have a drag race with Hamilton up to turn three. Uh, can we keep ahead of Hamilton? That's more like it. There's a, there's definitely a chance to keep ahead of Hamilton. We're going to keep it around the outside. We're going to have to take a compromise line and retain what is P6. But Hamilton can, not going to come, going to come back at us towards less boss. Then we're going to have the better racing line. And he'll tuck in behind us and we retain P6. But now we've got the McLarens coming in as well. Who, uh, for some reason in Grand Prix mode, their default positions are outside the top 10. I know that's usual for Daniel Ricciardo, but for Lando Norris it's not. We're going to defend that really harshly against Hamilton. And allow Ricciardo to zoom past with his V10. Norris will go past on the next straight. But in the end, uh, Bottas still leads the race from Verstappen, although it's only a matter of time before the Ferraris. The Ferraris need to get ahead of these lot and um, really move up into the distance as Hamilton now tries to go around the outside into Parabolic. It's again that same uh, corner where the AI is strongest um, compared to me. That's just normal F1 game. 28.8 uh, is our far fastest lap so far. DRS has been enabled on lap number 13. And that number three, Hamilton and Ocon is also coming to join in his Alpine. We're going to defend from both of them. Uh, again, a little bit of understeer in that corner, um, just to be expected with the pad. It does feel a little bit better. And eventually, Ocon does get ahead of Hamilton, but then Hamilton comes back at Ocon, uh, and then Ocon tries to get me, only for them to both take the inside line. And Yuki Tsunoda takes them both round the outside that's just the uh, ai stupidity but hamilton eventually does come back at sonoda and he's gonna try and come back around the inside and lap number seven uh, nothing doing there and we're going to retain uh, p8 but i presume hamilton will probably overcut us on lap uh, as we're coming in at the end of lap number eight ricardo is already coming ahead as we're coming up to lap the uh, has cars a double dive bomb on Ga Gasly this time is ahead of Sonoda and Hamilton and Gasly gets ahead of Hamilton as well at turn two so as we're going to zoom past the has cars um, who are only in a race with themselves um, like they are usually in real life um, as well in the, into the pits we come at the end of lap number eight Hamilton and Stroll continue on um, so I think Hamilton will probably be overcut us unfortunately but uh, there we go as we're coming in for a one and only stop onto a set of mediums the less less time we spent on this tire the better 2.8 second stop uh, that's that's all right i mean we've had better uh gasly is out right behind us alonso's moving to hard that's a big mistake um but in his v12 come out of the pits uh, sonoda is right there as well uh we're going to try and see if we can stay ahead the Japanese driver he, we can but Sonoda's undercut Gasly so do you take a bit more curve than I'd like into turn one but here moving to lap number 10 a lap later strolls also come out uh, Gasly's coming with DRS as well we have to find somehow the middle between the both of them uh, Sonoda gets ahead of Gasly as well um, here's a replay there almost going four wide uh, through there as uh, well sorry Sonoda not Gasly with DRS um, and Sonoda gets ahead. Uh, sorry, Stroll gets the better line out of turn two. As uh, Sergio Perez, um, deja vu, even his AI is doomed to fail and he's out of the race. As it's as moving to the front, then the McLarens are ahead and Daniel Ricciardo has undercut them all and is ahead. Uh, excuse me, it's not Daniel Ricciardo, it's Lando Norris, excuse me, who is ahead of Ricciardo. But Ricciardo looks on the better tyre and is right up his teammates so i imagine don't be surprised 
if Hamilton, uh, excuse me, if Ricardo finishes ahead of Norris in the end. But we come around the final corner. Ricardo there, confirmation actually, he is finished ahead of his teammate. Hamilton in the end, too strong he is in the Mercedes and in the faster engine. So we did well to keep him behind, but in the end, I will have to settle for P8. So the best of the V12s, I will definitely, uh, definitely take that. I mean, uh, there's not probably a lot, a lot we could do with the engine deficit we had compared to the um, Mercedes, the Ferraris, and the Red Bulls, especially the, the well, I mean, we were quite some way behind uh, the V10s as well. Um, in actual fact, the V6 engines, Williams, three seconds a lap slower their best time i don't know what's going on there the alfa romeo and the williams have got the the, the same engine and yet that's um the same and obviously the Haas is way behind as usual two laps down that's what they usually are in real life it's a very realistic their engine but yes if you have enjoyed this video then leave a like subscribe to the channel and you see plenty more f1 2021 game experiments until the next video then i'll see you next time take care enjoy your day and goodbye